Hey guys, are you worried about getting equivalent certificate in Nepal? If you have completed your graduation, if you have completed studies in foreign country like India, Japan, Korea, US, then don't worry. This video is made for you guys. If you want to apply degree equivalent certificate in Nepal from TU, today I will be talking about how to apply for degree equivalence and all the procedure step by step. Hi guys, I am Manna Suklan. You're watching your tech channel, My Code Works. So guys, today I will be talking about how to apply for uh, equivalent certificate in TU uh, if you have completed your graduation from foreign country. So let's do it guys. Uh, I don't want to make delay more. So first thing that uh, we have to visit and one more thing I want to say that uh, if you have completed, if you have completed your graduation or if you have completed your degree or any uh, any education, it's not like only bachelor or uh, master, you have completed your MPhil, PhD, then you should have uh, like uh, you, you should have your uh, degree certificate with you. So we need it here as well as the below level of the particular degree that you want like uh, if you are applying for bachelor then there we need uh, the plus two level uh, certificates right so i will tell you okay so let's start guys uh, you can also apply the same thing <coughs> with phone also but uh, i think it's more uh, good to go with uh, pc right so <coughs> simply uh, write tu cdc okay tu cdc and here you will get okay tu cdc let's check it okay now uh, this first link itself we are able to see right so it's saying curriculum development center particular vikas kendra so tribunal university so anywhere if you have completed graduation then we need to get it from tu right so we will click on this site and let's see what is uh, we are able to see okay once it uh, open also now it's opening so guys till that it's open i will say that if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and if you are already subscribed please do watch like share with your friends who wanted to get degree equivalent if they have completed their graduation studies higher studies in a uh, foreign country so as you can see uh, the site is now open and we will check it out everything right uh, so it's a you know tu uh, site university main uh, site and now you can see here uh, it's showing uh, register for equivalence okay so we need to click on this link and we will check it out what it's getting open so when you click on that register for equivalence you will get some pop of uh, you know info like this and there are lots of things are written there i i just recommend you just before filling these things you just go through each and every line and read it properly once uh, right once you are very clear with the things then you can go for the remaining uh, procedure right so I'm just skipping it. I will tell the remaining, I mean, almost all the details, whatever here we have, uh, like they are showing, right? So I will uh, close it and I will say, okay. So as I have already, uh, you know, I have already applied for this and my document got verified. I will show that also. And just now I need to collect it from TU, but I'm not able to get the time exactly. Uh, so I will uh, collect it from TU itself. So. Uh, as you can see here name email and password and confirm password and there is a verification point right so you have to fill these things right your name <coughs> your email address you know, so you, uh, you you fill everything now password and confirm password it's for registering the uh, your account on this you know site right once you fill everything you will get a mail regarding a uh, verification okay regarding verification so uh, you will get mail regarding uh, you know verifying the email basically i will say verifying your account once you verify your account you directly you need to go directly on login okay once you uh, every like you can see here so the, uh, as you can see here you can read it here once you uh, fill the form registration form there will be you will get a link activation link in your mail whatever mail you have used right so once you uh, click on verify that mail and you will get this page like uh, login where you need to log in with your email address whatever you have used and password whatever you, you just created uh, at the time of whatever you use the password at the time of creation uh, account so uh, i will use my own right to some youtube policy i will not show my details to you but uh, i will tell the uh, the like this field what actually we need to fill on this 
you know uh, text will write so that detail i will explain because you know youtube policies like you cannot share the details simply and you cannot uh, show the details to uh, someone directly on youtube right or video so i will skip those part i mean i will just blur it so that you won't able to get it but uh, i will tell what are the things you need to fill it okay i will just uh, write my password here okay and uh, let's see okay so once you able to log in it and you will see something like this <clears throat> at first time okay now uh, after getting like this it's a dashboard for you okay and uh, once it is uh, like if you get like this your name will be here and all those things right so you have to update your profile first okay uh, update profile basically it's a uh, it's like uh, you have to update your name and email and all those things right phone number so uh, first at the first time you have to update your profile for me i have already updated as you can see here it's showing my name and email and i haven't added my phone here and if i want to update uh, there you will get something like form like this okay name and like this only and you will get the details so province you have to find the province like uh, district you know i think uh, address and mobile number everything right so you will get it and here you can see a uh, password if you want to reset the password if you have already account created and some profile you know public profiles this uh, personal information they won't say uh, so here but they need this for verification purpose okay <clears throat> as you can see here everything detailed here and once you uh, uh, complete these things you can simply save and continue okay i won't uh, edit anything i just go back and everything will be same only so first thing you know to you need to uh, you know uh, update your profile once you updated your profile you just simply go to the back and after that you just go for apply for equivalence because uh, we, here we came to apply for equivalence right so as you can see one button is there and it's showing apply for equivalence so click on this and here you will get the form okay so basically form in the sense here <coughs> okay so university name it's showing right so uh, i will tell you the information regarding something that is important if your university is not there that means you have to add your university so you will add you can add your university name but if you're adding manually like uh, if it's not there already then there you have to pay four thousand it's a rule and uh, if already your university name is there and uh, your degree in a title is also not there there also i think you have to pay four thousand if both are available and usually you can find the degree or an uh, university name then uh, only one thousand you are gonna pay okay so that's what you have to keep in your mind and uh, how to find whether your uh, university is there or not so simply write your university for example mine was like Veltech. okay so as you can see here for me it's showing Veltech Rangarajan Dr. Samza RNE Institute of Science I have completed my VTech from Chennai Tamil Nadu right so it's showing right now I am able to get it so uh, select your own uh, college name and after that uh, select the degree that you want right so for example uh, i think it's uh, for this uh, name and there is no any degree but i will select the different one it's india india right that's a not uh, correct one i will select again well take okay uh, again just wait it's getting hang i don't know why uh, it's uh, okay uh, now i will select first one and there you will get the degree here i think again it's just wait i will okay okay well taken Rangarajan. i think this one correct right no degree selected but uh, I, I don't know why it's uh, showing like this okay just wait uh, let me just find out again uh okay mm, well check Rangarajan, dr sakuntala institute of science and technology let me select this one okay now you are able to find it okay see there are lots of people add their university name and for example you are new to this platform and there is no uh, your university name is not listed here then you will add and you will simply add uh, some other uh, you know some different way like india uh, comma india like that only uh, someone yeah. added at the time it won't show anything right so you have to select the correct one that's uh, what uh, actually the correct name of your university and so once you get uh, select this one you will get the registered yeah. degree title degree title from a uh, list list of these uh, you know degrees so for example i have completed my btech in computer science so i will select this one 
now once you uh, select these things you have to go to label now i'm just applying for degree equivalence for bachelor level so i will select bachelor and once you have selected this one subject subject will be same thing only but uh, btech in computer science btech in csc you can simply write and duration of study will be uh, uh, four years if it is four years right mostly it will be four years and admission year will be the uh, the year that you got admitted in the college and past year will be the past year passed out year simply you can write entry requirement will be same thing only uh, whatever you have wrote here and that will be edited here also and equivalent degree award you want same thing only bachelor in computer science i mean uh, you can simply write uh, bachelor in computer science also if it is like that only if you have any doubt regarding these things while filling this form please reach me out through comment section i will try to help you out if you have any doubt regarding this uh, form okay once you fill this you have to save and continue again you have to go document info uh, for example okay uh, i will just simply write but uh, if i write again it will be added to one more request so i don't want to write those things okay i don't want to fill this and again save and continue so what i can do right now and uh, i will fit okay i will tell you everything i already told you everything regarding this now second uh, page will be document info but i cannot directly to document info once you uh, fill this form and save and continue then there only you will get document info and payment info so document info basically talk about that you need to uh, upload or uh, upload your uh, document okay upload your document in the sense for example if you are apply for bachelor then there you need uh, two things uh, like uh, okay uh, bachelor certificates like uh, migration uh, not migration character certificate transcript and uh, you know uh, all the degrees i mean certificates that you got from your college you just simply add as well as plus two level certificates like uh, transcript mark sheet whatever it is right and uh, you know uh, uh, like uh, uh, migration uh, character certificate these things you can simply add and make it a pdf a single pdf which containing all the documents so uh, you just made it uh, around less than 5 mb so that you can easily upload it otherwise it won't uh, accept it so you have to compress if it's uh, increasing more than 5 mb if you uh, it's like uh, if it's uh, around 5 mb then you can simply upload it once uploaded to the document info then there you will move to payment info payment info basically uh, uh, basically it's like uh, you can simply payment it will show the how much you have to pay if it is already if it is not there or degree is not there then there it will show 4000 for me uh, it's already there it will it's already uh, shown to me 1000 and i already paid through e seva you can use e seva payment online payment you can use once you uh, fill everything and payment everything you have done everything then now your request will be uh, moved to okay so let me go to home now you will get your request here so uh, like for example there is no request here i haven't filled out all the things but once you fill everything you will get your request here like new request and under approval so for example if your document didn't got verified or approved some uh, something is missing they will simply add in remark and after that you can edit your doc and after editing your doc you can simply add those things whatever uh, they are asking like to add like for example if you miss to add a character certificate of plus two then they will say uh, uh, character certificate of plus two level missing then you can add again you can uh, update the uh, that file edit after click on edit you will able to again fill that form once everything is good and uh, they got and uh, whatever uh, certificate you are showing is correct and you know genuine then they will simply approve you okay if i click on approved my uh, you know request got approved and simply i need to collect it from the to office so as you can see here uh, we take in computer science everything the right request i have given and view i can simply view it okay uh, once i click on view it you can see all the details here so applicant unique id and all those things you can see uh, uh, all the details that i have filled passed out into requirement bachelor evaluation system you know uh we take in computer science engineering transaction id also uh, amount you have paid 1000 right e seva through e seva and document preview if i say <coughs> so here you will get the document like uh, um, my you know uh, my you know uh, bachelor's uh, certificates like this is transcript you can say or mark sheet and provisional certificate can a uh, character certificate plus two and all those things right so these are the documents that you need to upload uh, if you're applying for bachelor labor 
and that's what you can simply upload in that uh, form document info and once you will uploaded those things you can simply pay the payment and after uh, uh, getting approval you will get something like this so in order to collect your degrees from tu office you simply you print out this uh, you know details and simply show to them and they will uh, give your certificate degree equivalent certificate so you can go and collect it any any time they said uh, you can come and collect your certificate anytime it's not like you have uh, got approval now and you need to come by two uh, two days after getting approval so you can collect it anytime it's not uh, necessary right anyone can collect it's also not necessary that you should go you can you can collect anyone i mean your certificate can be collected by anyone so that's all uh, what i wanted to share with you guys i hope you have liked this video and if you have any doubt please reach me out through comment section i will be happy to help you all please if you like this video please do like share and subscribe with your friends and keep watching my youtube videos